Thank you. Uh, good to be here. Um, I got to say, you know, we were well into 2019, and I really thought I'd have a flying car by now. <laughs> or even a regular car. That would be it. <laughs> I'd settle. Uh, I definitely should have, like, lowered the bar for how cool the future was going to be. You know, when you're a kid, you think stuff like, oh, man, I wonder if I'll have a jet pack. <laughs> and then you turn 30, and it's like, oh, man, I wonder if love is real. <laughs> That'd be neat. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I'm single. Uh, <laughs> sorry, ladies. Uh, you got me to deal with. Uh, I like being single. I don't like it as a term, though. Like, I don't like that single is a legal term on government forms. <laughs> I don't need that. Uh, <laughs> the government isn't even sure about my home address. I don't see why they just have to know no one loves me. That's just, <laughs> doesn't seem pertinent. Um, uh, I'm doing fine, by the way. Don't worry about me. Uh, I've just been tomcatting around on these dating apps. Um, not going that well. I say stuff like tomcat. That's, uh, <laughs> Not what the kids are saying, as it turns out. Oh, I hate all those dating apps, because you know, you got to sell yourself in pictures and a little bio and stuff. That's not how I operate. I prefer to have an air of intrigue, be a man of mystery, make the ladies <laughs> curious, you know? It sounds corny, but it does work. Like the other night at a bar, three different women just had to know what the hell my problem was. <laughs> Yep, I still got it. Uh, still got problems. Um, I know. I'm trying to get my act together. I was, uh, I was on this health kick for a while. Tried to quit drinking soda, because that's not good for you. Um, I did not stop smoking weed, so it didn't really work. Uh, but I am proud of myself, uh, because I managed to stop drinking Mountain Dew. Which, if there's any former Dew heads here, God bless you. Um, I never got into heroin, but I assume it's almost as hard to quit. Uh, it's rough. Had to quit drinking it. Two white trash of a drink. Uh, <laughs> when I drink Mountain Dew in public, I feel like I'm just waving around a rebel flag. <laughs> Starting all kinds of trouble. Uh, it is a rebel flag of sodas, for sure. It's also, like, not for us. It's not for adults, you know? Like, you could take a cup of coffee into a job interview. That'd be fine. You can't do that with Mountain Dew. <laughs> no. You can't be like, oh, what's my greatest weakness? Ah, probably neon green liquid. <laughs> can't quit it. Also, if I see a dirt bike, I gotta jump on it. <laughs> I am at stream. Look out for that before you hire me. Uh, yeah, I've lost a lot of good jobs because of Mountain Dew. Uh, also, I didn't go to college. I think that could be a factor. Uh, that's true, by the way. I didn't go to college. I was too cool for school. And sometimes when I tell people I didn't go to college, they act surprised. They'll be like, but Andy, you have glasses. <laughs> That's a fair point. Uh, I do have glasses. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm smart. It means my eyes are dumb. Uh, I don't regret not going to college. I got plenty of friends. Can't do anything with their degree. Uh, I feel bad for anyone that went to school for years just to get a degree. You don't need to do that. You can make one in 10 minutes. Uh, it's true. I have a degree in graphic design. Is it real? No. <laughs> but it's really hard to tell, so I feel like I deserve it, you know? <laughs> I think that's fair, you know? I feel the worst for people that went to school, got a job in their field, and found out it's just another dumb job, like the rest of them. <laughs> uh, like pharmacists? Oh, my heart goes out to them. They spend all the time in pharmacy school, just be like, oh, well, the instructions for medication are on the bottle. And, uh, I guess they'll ring you up for these flaming Hot Cheetos, then. Yeah. yeah, I'm a doctor. It's cool. Uh, that is sad. And they have to be the only doctors that work a drive through shift, right? I'm just saying, they don't do any doctor stuff. Like, they can't even take your blood pressure, because there's already a chair in the pharmacy. <laughs> Stole that job from them. <laughs> Depressing. I think that's why pharmacists wear lab coats, you know? Be like, hey, look, I am a doctor, all right? <laughs> no, I'm in the back working a register, but I'm a doctor. <laughs> you don't need a lab coat. You can count pills in a tank top. I've done it. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. <laughs>